Stepping into the Audi Museum in Ingolstadt, Germany is like opening a door to one of the multiverses. And it is beautiful. Because how often do you get to go back to the future? The Museum Mobile, as it is called, is nestled within the sprawling Audi Forum campus and stands as a testament to the brand's long and rich history, inviting visitors like me to immerse oneself in a journey through aesthetics, history, design and heritage. It is a four-storied circular steel and glass structure at the Audi headquarters, the metaphorical four rings of brand Audi and a great way to dive into Audi's history. You'll find in the history of many automakers that the beginnings were very humble in making bicycles and then inevitably motorcycles too. It's the same for Audi, but interestingly enough, none of these motorcycles were ever badged Audi. The story begins with August Horsch, a German engineer who set up an automobile company in 1899 using his last name. After a disagreement with management, he was ousted from the company a decade later, which is when he went on to create Audi, the Latin word for listen, similar to the German meaning of his name. In 1932, Audi merged with the three other German automobile brands, all of whom were struggling financially at the time, DKW, Wanderer and yes, Horsch, to form Auto Union. And so it is these four brands that came together. Those are the four rings you see even today. That is the legacy and history of the brand Audi. The necessity was because of the economical crisis. All of our four traditional companies run in, in deep depth and got struggles to survive on their own and they all had their debts at one bank and this was the, the State Bank of Saxony. There was one visionary guy at the, the State Bank there, uh, Dr. Richard Brun, and he was of the opinion that none of the single companies could survive the economical crisis in, in, in the late 20s. But together, as a big, a huge company with a very strict concentration on their strength, it would be possible that they become the second biggest car manufacturer in Germany and could survive this economical, very difficult period. And, and they did. And they did. So while all brands continued to survive, for a short while, after World War II, it was primarily DKW that kept selling. And in 1958, Daimler-Benz bought Auto Union, only to sell it just a few years later. It let go of the Audi and DKW brands, but retained Horsch. Volkswagen was the new owner, and it was decided in the late 1960s to persist with just the Audi name. The Audi story has many milestones. As the brand grew in strength, it had to face many challenges, facing growing competition from premium German brands and yes, even the non-European brands like the Japanese. So the cars became more feature-rich, more premium and guided by a performance benchmark that German cars had begun to acquire once more. All the crucial milestones in the company's history are very much a part of the Museum Mobile, naturally. So, right from the realization that it makes sense to take Audi into the luxury space. Cars like the A8, even the aluminium space frame that uh, really led to the kind of construction changes you saw for the cars from Audi. And then big technology developments which have become synonymous with the brand like Quattro. Audi has had many milestones on design, technology, motorsport and then some. A lot of those are displayed on this unique Paternoster lift which shows off the significant and most important cars from the brand's heritage. And yes, they keep changing every few months, though some of them, like the first Quattro, probably stay on. The world car of the year 2005 is the Audi A6. Audi was also the first brand to win the first ever World Car of the Year title in 2005 for the third generation Audi A6. 
In fact, since then, Audi has won several titles at the World Car Awards, being the most successful brand with 11 wins across categories, the most recent of which was World Performance Car in 2022. The Audi e-tron GT. As Audi now embarks on a new electric-only path, it builds on a strong foundation of all that it has achieved in its glorious past. I think it's the only car history, um, the, car, uh, the only car museum in Germany which describes the complete development of the German automotive in history in the last 120 years because we display four historical brands. It's not only the, the linear history of just one company, the history of four brands which merged together and which had their ups and downs. And it's a good demonstration also for my colleagues here working for Audi that whenever there is a down, um, you just have to stand up and Audi is always on the winner side and, and hopefully will be in the, in the next 100 years. And this is depicted in this, in this exhibition here. And you can experience that if you ever drop by the Museum Mobile. There's something for everyone, whether you are an automobile enthusiast, an Audi fan or just a history buff.